Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets tutorial video. In this video we have something a little bit different. We have the Asin solar panel. So this is a 7 watt solar panel and it's meant for charging cell phones, things like that. It does come with a 2000 milliamp battery that it'll charge and also charge your cell phone directly or any other battery that you have. So let's go ahead and get it out of this plastic. This was really the only thing that came in the box besides some little marketing material or support information. One thing that's really cool to note about this is it is flexible. So I can bend it and hopefully it still works after that, but that's how it's advertised. So it's meant to be durable for hiking, perfect for hiking. And then you have this really cool pouch on the back. It has, you can put your cell phone in, you have carabiners, perfect for putting on the back of your backpack or whatever you want. Then you have some suction cups, so you would put those on and then you could do it to your window of your car. And as you can see right here, we have USB out to micro USB and then some sort of adapter. And then here's the 2000 milliamp battery right here. So the device actually looks like it comes with the battery built in which is awesome. And as you can see it's one amp out so it should be able to charge a cell phone pretty quickly probably about this, almost the same as most chargers. I like the lights right here, that's very cool and that will be just part of it on there. It looks like it's probably waterproof because this does seal so you don't have to worry about having it on the outside of your backpack if it's raining or anything and as you can see, just normal USB, clip that all the way in and it's nice and secure. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you how the 2000 milliamp battery will start charging. It has a little indicator that changes as soon as it's, as it's really exposed to any light. So you can see how there's nothing on, no lights at all, but as soon as I face it towards the window, you get the red light on the power button and then also those four indicator lights and they're there's one blinking showing that it is recharging which is pretty cool because there's not a lot of light coming in through this window so it's very sensitive and which makes me happy but pretty cool I have been really impressed with this little pocket they have on the back of the solar panel so as you can see it's got the permanent 2000 milliamp hour battery so this area right here is going to be pretty much taken up especially if you have a USB cord coming out of here so basically you can put a cell phone like this now if there's a case on it or you have it plugged in you're gonna have some trouble zipping it up right here this is where I think eScene has really thought of everything because what they did is they gave you two zippers and this is the top of the solar panel as you can see so you can actually just leave it in there like that if it's sitting upright your phone is secure because it's zipped up on the sides maybe do it a little bit like that just to make it even more secure but you don't have to worry about it in, uh, not being able to close because of the charger because it can just have it like a pocket and have the phone kind of sit in there so that is really cool and I'm really happy that they added that feature of the two zippers Hey guys, so I want to do a quick test of the solar panel, show you just how much milliamp power it's getting into the phone. I'm using an app called Amperier, and this kind of measures, right now it's measuring how much power my phone is just using when it's working. So I can plug it in, and then actually get an idea of how much is actually being supplied through the battery on the solar panel. Just give it a second. It'll take some time for it to measure. So 700 is, that's pretty good. I would say a normal wall charger is going to be around like maybe 750, maybe 800. I have some more heavy duty ones that are even up into the 900 range. But I would say 650 to 700 is awesome and really great considering this is just a solar panel with a 2000 milliamp battery on it so you're gonna get you know steady charging out of it 
and just it works great. So this is my current setup. I've attached the e-scene solar panel to my 40 liter REI pack and I have used the carabiners on these little hooks right here. So it's very secure, looks great, I think it looks really cool and it seems to work very well. One thing about this uh, solar panel is it's very sensitive. Just the light in here is enough to make it really start charging. I can see that it's actually charging it just from the light coming in through the windows. So I've done some tests on it. I had it sitting in a window, not getting direct light, and it from dead, completely dead, I killed the battery, and then to recharge it was about four to five hours when it wasn't directly in the sunlight. So that, in my opinion, is good. If you had it directly in the sunlight, or at least getting some more sun than that, probably be even less than that, maybe two hours. So as you just saw in the voltage test, around 600 milliamp hours input. So not bad, not as good as a wall charger, but from a little solar panel with a small battery, I mean, what more do you expect? The price is great, and it seems to be extremely durable, also bendable, I love that. So yeah, I like this solar panel. I'm gonna continue to use this for a long time. I'm just gonna leave it on my hiking bag. No reason not to, it's got the battery already included in it, so I don't have to worry about losing anything. So I'll just keep it and use it for a long time. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, my channel is Gaging Gadgets. Check it out. Go ahead and rate this video if it helped you make a decision about this solar panel or solar panels in general. And for a more detailed write-up, check out GagingGadgets.com. Thank you so much for watching.